This video will show the vessels of the lower extremity, the main vessels, and the path that they travel. So we start with the descending abdominal aorta, right here, which splits into the common iliac artery, which further splits into the external iliac artery and the internal iliac artery. And this happens on both the right and the left side, so over here you would see these labels also. So from here, when the vessel passes under the inguinal ligament, which is right here in green, it becomes the femoral artery now, or the femoral artery. The femoral artery continues down the leg until it hits the adductor hiatus, which is a passage through the adductor magnus muscle for it to pass, and it passes posteriorly to the posterior side of the leg now. So this is the vessel on the posterior side now. Once it passes through the adductor hiatus, it becomes the popliteal artery here, which further splits into the posterior tibial artery here, which feeds the posterior compartment of the leg, and it splits into the anterior tibial artery, which feeds the anterior compartment of the lower leg. So the posterior tibial artery further splits into the peroneal or fibular artery as well, a little further down, and this feeds, this branch feeds the lateral compartment of the leg. So the posterior tibial artery continues down and goes through the tarsal tunnel behind the medial malleolus, and this feeds the plantar side of the foot. So now we'll go back to the anterior tibial artery, which passes anteriorly to feed, like I said before, the anterior compartment of the leg. So here it goes all the way down the anterior compartment to the dorsal aspect of the foot and becomes the dorsalis pedis artery and it feeds the dorsal aspect of the foot. So a summary of what was covered. The external iliac artery splitting into the femoral artery at the inguinal ligament, and then the popliteal artery after the adductor hiatus. Here it splits into the posterior tibial artery and the anterior tibial artery. The posterior tibial artery further splits into the peroneal and fibula, or fibular artery, and further down, it goes through the tarsal tunnel to feed the plantar surface of the foot. The anterior tibial artery becomes the dorsalis pedis artery. And that is all. Thank you.